Hey, what's going on? This is what you bitch about again. Um, we're going to start talk about, uh, you know, I just did Superman, a uh, discussion about that. Uh, let's keep on the DC uh, level. Let's go into Suicide Squad. Uh, Suicide Squad. Honestly, I'm going to be 100% honest with you all. Did not read the comic. Don't really know much about the comic. Uh, and that's not the issue. Honestly, I, you know, uh, it really has nothing to do with what uh, I, I'm kind of complaining about on to this one. It's, it's the casting. When I saw the casting, I was, I was blown away. Both in amazingness and what the fuckness. I mean, I just wanted one name. I was like, absolutely, oh my god, you are so on. Which I'll get to. Because I gotta praise this guy. I love his work. And, like, the rest, there were like two main titles that I just. Those names should have just been balled up and thrown into what, you know, into fuck off land. Exiled into fuck off land. And those names are Will Smith, which, at, at the end of the day, you just can't get past, whenever Will Smith is in a movie, he's Will Smith. You know he's Will Smith. He's just that personality, he can only be Will Smith. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and the other name, which, uh, she's not going to be in the movie anymore, they got someone else is uh, Oprah. Why Oprah? What? I don't... <clears throat> I don't take the name Oprah and comic books and go, yeah, that totally sounds like a brilliant idea. Yeah, cast that person. Absolutely cast her. Yeah, it's a great idea. No! No, don't cast her! Fuck Oprah! She doesn't need any more money. She doesn't need any of this, like, comic book money that comic book movie money that's going on around. You know, uh, it, it's just like, I, I just, I, it, it boggles my mind. Hollywood, you could do such good things and you could do such shitty things. And this is like some of the biggest shitball stuff that you could come up with. Actually, there's one more, but I'll leave that for another video. <laughs> and that's a doozy. Um, but, doing something totally right in this, Jared Leto, uh, as the Joker. Uh, I, I couldn't think of anyone better for, um, to proceed from, uh, 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 you know, Batman 2. Uh, you know, Heath Ledger, um, you know, he, he definitely took the Joker to a new level. The, the fan base for the Joker never was higher, um, and I think Jerry can deliver that. I mean, if you watch, you know, some of his uh, movies, uh, like one of my favorites is uh, Chapter Twenty Two when he plays Mark David Chapman. I mean, he authentically gained the weight. He talks like him. He looks like him. Uh, I actually couldn't believe it was him. Um, Dallas Buyers Club is another uh, huge, amazing transformation. Uh, I forget the name of this one. I think it's like Zero Man or something like that. Uh, where he... he It's like weird time travelish. It's very bizarre, this movie. Um, look it up. He plays at one point... A, a very very old version of himself and I really thought that they cast a, like this guy in the 90s that was just about to keel over <laughs> it was that convincing he, he's absolutely amazing in it, in it. and um, it, you know DC it's like Superman was great the, the Batman series has been great I really didn't give a flying fuck about Green Lantern and I'm a big Ryan Reynolds fan which kind of hurt. It was like, you know, you... Why do you fuck up? DC, you, 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 you have great ideas and then you just fuck up. Like, in your comics, you 
How many times did you redo the Batman story or the, you know, any of your, your titles? Any of them. Why, why do you always feel the need to redo your stories over and over? You know, it's, it gets annoying, it gets, you know, you come up with great ideas and then you just kind of, you know, well, let's just, like, Super Monkey? You, you made a monkey version of Superman. Why? Super Dog? You know, you just had to have the super animal friendship going on, didn't you? And it seems to continue into your movies. You can't quite stay solid. Granted, Marvel, I feel like, needs to be a little bit more risk-taking, and I think they did that with Guardians. They didn't go with so much of the mainstream uh, titles and decided to kind of go a little bit more of the B-list, and lo and behold, Guardians did, I, I think, as good as, uh, as Avengers, if not better. Uh, I, I'll say even, I liked Avengers, I really did. But I love Guardians. I'm also a huge James Gunn fan. James Gunn is one of my favorite uh, movie directors right now. I, him and, of course, Darren Aronofsky is, and um, uh, Guillermo is another uh, beast of a uh, director. All three of these guys are just master craftsmen uh, when it comes to making movies. And uh, Suicide Squad, I, I hate the fact that, you know, they should have just not did this. They should have just thrown, uh, definitely cast a, uh, Jerry into the Joker role, but I think that it should be a part of the um, Batman Superman, uh, you know, universe or, you know, movie series that's coming. Um, and another thing, you know, Affleck, I got your back, man. I got your back. I, I don't care what the haters are saying. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that after seeing, like, the movies that you have directed and starred in in the past, like, uh, almost decade, uh, the town was phenomenal, man. The town was so good. You just delivered this great, like, you grew up, and I respect you so much. Like, you, before, you know, you were funny. I dug your stuff. Uh, I, I love your work with Kevin Smith. Um, but you grew up, your brother grew up, uh, you are an amazing actor and you are an amazing director, and like I said, I don't care what the haters say, my money's on you, man. My money's on you. You are going to be even better than, uh, what was his name? Um, I don't even give a shit. <laughs> the guy from American Psycho. Uh, wow, I, I'm just brain farting here. But, yeah, I, I honestly, I love the Batman movies, but I thought one of the weakest uh, Batmans. Because I couldn't stand hearing, like, everyone made fun of Bane's talking. It's like, I can't understand what Bane's saying. But yet, it's like, boy, Batman. Over and over. It, it was just too much of gargly, like, Ugh. it's like, have a fucking Lawson. Like, like, take a Halls, okay? Do something. Drink some green tea. I don't care. You know, you got this, like, strep throat thing going on. You know, you're a billionaire. Let, let's take care of this, man. Okay? <laughs> like, I thought that, actually, uh, Michael Keaton was one of the best, uh, you know, in that perfect balance of Wayne versus Batman. It, it really was, because he didn't need to do that. I'm Batman. <laughs> it's like... Which is just, uh, to disguise the boy, it was just lame. I, I felt like uh, he did, you know, he was supposed to be equal to the Joker, and they're both insane, but insane in a evil way and insane in a good way. And I thought that, especially after you see, like, Beale Juice and stuff like that and how crazy Michael Keane gets, uh, yeah, uh, that was probably the height of the uh, Wayne. Um, but yeah, Affleck, my money's on you. I think that uh, Leto, my money's on you too, man. Uh, even if the movie sucks, I think that you're going to deliver one of the best, best Jokers ever. And if anyone ever says anything about you not being a good Joker, I don't even have to see the role. Uh, 
they're just haters. They just started hating on you. So, uh, that wraps up on what you bitching about, Suicide Squad. Cigarettes out, and I'm out. Peace.